and welcome to the Brovnik, which in the show is playing King Zanik. Fake blood, fake heads. I've never watched an episode of Game of Thrones. I know, I know, go ahead and judge me. The truth is, no trip to this ancient city is complete without a Game of Thrones tour. So this one's for all of you Game of Thrones virgins traveling with a Game of Thrones tragic. I've got your back. Well, this girl's got your back. This is Eva, tour guide and Game of Thrones stand-in. Are you a big Game of Thrones fan yourself? I am. I love Game of Thrones. I read all the books. I wake up every Monday at 7 a.m. to watch the new episode. I'm going to take you to three of the most important Game of Thrones locations. Well, Eva is. And what was your job? I was a stand-in. So sometimes you are literally the star. Sometimes, yes. I pretended to be a lot of them from Cersei to Daenerys, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes even boys. Don't worry guys, I have no idea who these characters are either. So here's the rundown. Cersei's powerful and greedy, she's queen of seven nations, Dubrovnik is her hood. Eyebrows here is Daenerys, she's queen of marine and mother of dragons, which is pretty intense. You know what else is intense? Our first stop on the tour. Baby murder scene. They drowned them. Um, oh. Game of Thrones. Yes. Very typical. We did use real children, but they're all... Okay. Good, good, good. By now I'm thinking, okay, enough heavy stuff. Just give me the gossip. Can you tell us any juicy gossip? The actors are all great. It's more the crew that does stupid things uh -huh. in Dubrovnik. The crew gets drunk every week. <laughs> but the crew's coming from where? The crew is actually Irish. So it's true what they say about the Irish. It's also true what the locals say about this street. It's the most beautiful in the world. But little did I know that it also inspired the location for one of the biggest blockbusters of all time. George Martin actually visited Dubrovnik a few years before Game of Thrones was starting to film. And he was here on book signing on the main street. He gave a few interviews where he said, that this is exactly how he imagined King's wow. ending. Uh -huh. The Dubrovnik was suggested to the writers and producers of the show. So we can really say that Dubrovnik inspired Game of Thrones a bit. <laughs> a, a little bit, a little bit. He, he just felt like this is what he was writing about. It's clear to see why George Martin chose Dubrovnik. Which way do we go next? Down here or? We go down into the Walk of Shame. The Walk of Shame. The Walk of Shame. Every fan of Game of Thrones knows about the Walk of Shame. Okay, well we're gonna do, really do the Walk of Shame. So let's go up and then tell me about it on our way down. Sure. Well now we can say that we've officially walked the Walk of Shame. Yes, but yes. <laughs> I don't know that we should be proud of that. I don't know, but thankfully we're in our clothes. Okay, so I didn't know the Walk of Shame was so, so naked. Shame. Apparently tourists quite like to disrobe here. We do have a lot of reenactments in the night. Oh. Well, shall we go to the next location? Sure. We are now in the famous Blackwater Bay, which in the show is when we have 100 boats coming in to King's Landing to invade. And yet, were there really the boats? <laughs> you can't really fit 100 boats over here. I guess it depends on the size of the boat. Anyway, it's an explosive scene. Which is pretty intense. It just seems like there's so many logistics involved when there filming is. here. It's a very big and complicated process. So many people involved and it takes so much time and so much attention to tiny little details that people don't think about. It's amazing. They're like magicians. Honestly. Well, it's it's so cool that you get to actually show people that are big fans around the city, you know, yes. all these locations and tell them these details because otherwise we'd never yeah, know. It also makes me happy because they're usually really satisfied and they're crazy about Game of Thrones. Hope you didn't need the confidentiality to tell me all that. No, 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 that's <laughs> fine, that's fine. We're just not supposed to talk about the season that has not aired. Uh -huh. It's going to be a very good season. Great. Yeah. And right. you see the fake hats being squished. It's not what I was expecting <laughs> you to say. I mean, I know it's gruesome, but... It is. 